All right, section 7.3, ratio, proportions, and variation. All right, so to solve a proportion, you just have to isolate the variable. So this first one, we have t divided by 24 is equal to 12 divided by 72. So a lot of people would want to cross multiply and you can do that but it just adds a step. Really all you need to do to get t by itself is to multiply by 24 since it's being divided by 24. You got to make sure your variable is on the top so when it's on the top then that's that's all you have to do. But when it's on the bottom which we'll probably see then we have to multiply it to bring it up so we'll probably have to cross multiply in that instance. But here we just have to multiply by 24 so I'm going to add 24 here and whatever you do to one side you do to the other alright so look 24 divided by 24 will be gone so now t equals whatever we have okay now 24 and 72 are factors of each other so you can divide this by 24 alright this will become 3 alright so now we have 12 divided by 3 and 12 divided by 3 gives us 4 so t equals 4 what you should do uh, plug it in and reduce to check um, just to make sure so if you do 4 divided by 24 see what you get 12 divided by 72 see what you get if they're both equal then you know you have done this correctly All right, so this one wants us to determine the ratio and write it in lowest terms 70 feet to 90 feet okay. so when we do ratio okay, we just kind of separate it with comma 70 to 90 like this all right and then both these guys are divisible by 10 all right so divide them by 10 and we get 7 to 9 all right so this is the ratio when we do ratios we just do this colon this or you can write uh, 7 to 9 like that but that's the way we do ratios so we're going to say 7 to 9 okay, a ratio okay so I guess they want me to write it as a fraction You can write usually when they write a ratio they want it like this side to side um, but in this case I guess they want us to stack it as a um, fraction okay all of these mean the same thing okay so that's what I just saw anyway 7 divided by 9 and then usually if you type the 2 it'll say that's the wrong character but and didn't get any any, any indication that time alright so this one uh, we want to determine the ratio write it in lowest terms 216 inches 3 feet alright notice there's a different in units the units is different alright so what we need to do is convert them to the same units alright so I'm gonna say 216 inches alright on the bottom we have 3 feet alright there's 12 inches in the foot so I'm gonna do 3 times 12 to convert this to inches. Now let me actually do the, the correct setup. 3 feet um, we're going to multiply times 12 inches over 1 foot. This is the uh, conversion. So there's 12 inches in a foot so feet will divide out and you do 3 times 12 and that gives us 36. All right. So this is 36 inches to 216 and I think if we just multiply that times 6 so um, both of these are divisible by 36 but let me verify let me get that little basic calculator out let me divide by 6 first so I'm going to say 216 divided by 6 and then divide that by 6 yeah, so it's divisible by 36 <clears throat> so when you reduce this we get 6 to 1 and I think we actually need to write the 6 to 1 6 inches to 1 inch 
So, uh oh, you can't see what I'm writing. This is in the way. Um, I just reduce here. Both of these are divisible by 36, 6 to 1. Because um, I divided this one by 6 twice. So, ratio 6 to 1.